what up campers it's been a while um, even though I've been doing a lot of camping I just have been working at home for like two years I literally walk from like my bedroom in here and I sit here for nine ten hours a day and I do that over and over so I just have not had the stomach to make a video but I wanted to make this video because I want to help you guys save some money let's get it <music> So I recently had a, a slide out that was just going out on me. I pushed the button and you could hear the motor spinning and nothing would happen. Here, I'll show you what it sounded like. It's like spinning and spinning, nothing. Ends the same as that. No spinning gear. And yeah, so I had a guy come look out. It's like you push the button, nothing happens. Uh, somebody said I need to replace the whole slide out motor gearbox, which it doesn't seem like you can get just the gearbox. So it was like you had to buy the whole $600 uh, slide motor apparatus. I got the Lippert 18 to one slide thing, um, but I actually found out it was just the gear. There's the new slide motor guts. I replaced this little plastic gear and you can see the flat edge. So this goes in here. And then when the motor spins, this like little black thing was all loose and cockeyed. So this shaft was coming in at an angle. And that is what caused this gear to get totally ground down. And there was like all these plastic shavings in there. So then once I sucked it back up, which was stuck on this flat part, not spinning. I found this on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It's metal. Got all the guts put back in. So now all we got to do is grease it up. I made a new gasket because I chewed up the gasket when I was pulling it off. But then it should work. And we won't have to go replace a motor that was already working just for a stupid $28 gear. And hopefully, if you have the same problem where you can hear the motor still spinning, then you don't got to go out and spend a bunch of money. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You just pull that slide out motor off. There was only two bolts holding the motor onto the shaft. And then you open up that back plate, take the gears out, put the new gears in, grease it up, put it back in. And uh, here, I'll show you, it's working now. And looky, looky, we got a slide out that actually moves. So life is good. Switch is working that metal gear sounds a lot more buttery than it used to. So I'm uh, pretty pleased. And there it is. Also, super quick pro tip. If you go to repair your slide out motor, don't make the same mistake I did and assume that it's on the side of the RV where the slide is. I had to go through and hack that side open to find out that the shaft runs all the way back to this side. So then I had to rehack open another panel right there. So for me, if you have the rock wood, let me zoom out. It's right underneath where your uh, fridge vents are. So yeah, don't make unnecessary holes in your sealed underbelly. So yeah, that's all. Hopefully it saves you some money. It was only about a five, 10 minute fix and 28 bucks and we're back in action. Good as new, hope that helps. Uh, miss you all. Hopefully got so much footage of amazing camp trips. I'm going to eventually sit down and edit it. But uh, yeah, keep making those memories with the ones that matter most. And we'll see you on the next adventure.